Google Meet, Zoom, and many other platforms. But this one is designed for educators. Okay, Big Blue Button is a platform designed for giving live lectures. Okay, now I'm going to say it in front of the camera, so it is recorded as bhukti. So the evidence is this: if you do a lecture on Smart to a Smart Three MS using Big Blue Button, two hours of interaction count, counts as face to face. So you can sit in your room, you can sit in Japan, you can sit in wherever you go to Korea or Thailand, you can sit there, set up the big blue button, the class counts as a real lecture because it's a live class. Yeah, it's, a two, it's, a, it's your normal class, 9 to 11 you can do a class online. And big blue button is designed for our system, means our network speed. So it's, don't worry about the network, if the student have access to a terminal, they can access big blue button. Okay, I'll, set, I'll show you how the classroom is set up. Okay, so in order to do big blue button, you need to go outside. Go, Zul. Okay, Zul. Okay, you need to set up a big blue button account individually. Okay, so this is called a big blue button. Conferencing system. You can use it for everything, including teleconferencing. For example, if you are in Japan and your student is here, you want them to attend your class, right? Just say 9 to 11, yeah. Saba time. You sit in Japan, I think maybe it will be two hours, Japan, right? So it'll be so you sit there. It'll be live, synchronous with the student here. Uh, record will not count as face to face. It will not count as face to face. That is the issue because that's why I'm saying when you use the live, it's face to face. But when you record, it's not face to face because technically we are recording and uploading. How to prove? Let's say because it's online. It's it's going to record in your account the activity record. I will show you how it's done. Okay, so now Zul will set up his big blue button account. Okay. So, but you have to go and create uh, first there, right? Yeah. Uh, so, so this is the big blue button system. Okay, you have to open a separate page for it. What's happening? It's changed to French. <laughs> Just re refresh, refresh. You need to create an account. You can create an account using your UMS uh, email, but don't use your same password because it's external, external server. But this is a free server, free uh, software. So you can sign in or you can sign up. Usually I sign in with Google. Because you, you know we have Google Enterprise, right? We are connected with Google Enterprise on campus. So you have YouTube, you have uh, Jamboard, you have everything in your Google Enterprise account. So you can access Big Blue Button as well in your Google Enterprise account. Okay? No, no, no thanks, no thanks. Okay, this is your Big blue button, uh, basically, it's like a university in itself, and inside that there are classrooms. You create classroom inside, okay? So it creates a classroom inside that. So Zul has set up a classroom. I will just demonstrate to you, and then you can go into that. Zul will start the class, okay? So you create room. You, we go back and we link it back to the system. Okay, we link back. So we create. So I create a room. Create a room called. Create a room. The room is actually like the bilikulia. It's a building. So the room will only be active when the lecturer is in the room. After that, it stops. This one without the video? No, you need to, you can use, if you, if you are feeling that you don't want to use your face, you can use voice. But it should be a live class, so students use it for, the students should be able to see, it's an interactive classroom. The students should be online. They can be either in your class, they, for example, you are going to, uh, for example, for somewhere else, for conference, you can do for your hotel room, you can do it here. But, no, no, no limit, no limit. For example, if your one user is here, two user in the bus sitting, waiting for the bus to come, they miss the bus, they can attend your lecture in the bus stop with the headphones on. It's, it's like that. It's free for, as long as you have Wi-Fi and connection, it's okay. <laughs> create a room. Cannot create? I think we use this one. Yeah. So Zul will show you how the classroom is set up. Okay, then we go into the system. You actually, you have any PDF, Zul? PDF? You have the PDF file you created, right? Okay, okay, okay. Zul will show you how it's created. Okay, so in order to create the classroom, you have to go to big blue button. Here, big blue button is here. B, B, B. It's a B, B with a Biru. So, add. Okay. Then we have, so it'll add, it'll waste some time. It'll spend some time, okay. So then you give it a virtual classroom name. Give it the name, demo classroom. Demo IPMB, just put demo IPMB. Show notification. Send notification to your email and then you can show activity room settings. Yeah, you can show, okay. So you can click here, okay. All and all users, activity room setting and then just put hello. 
hello, we just, you have to write your message here, welcome to this class and everything else, okay, so you have this, and then, and so on and so forth, so all users enrolled, okay, go down, Baba, time, you need to set your time, set your time, yeah. session can be recorded, if you don't want your student to record it, we disable this, okay, they can record others, your session, okay, just go down, Zul, okay, okay, this is very important, okay, schedule for the session for example you're in Sabah your class is between 9 to 11 but you're in Japan you still need to follow here the Sabah time for that class because they'll follow the local time local host because this is hosted by a local JTMK host so it will follow the JTMK time okay so you have this time you enable it because you need to do this you need to do this actually here click here activity completion okay they should view the lecture when the condition are met. So only when the student view a lecture, they will pass this particular. So that means that's actually a evidence of attendance. So if they, have, if they were offline during that time, they didn't attend, it will not, it will not record the attendance as complete. So you will see a log file, student did not attend the lecture. So this is the important part about this one. You need to set this activity as complete. You will disable that now, others they won't be able to. So I'm disabling it now, others our time zone will be different. But you need to set up your lecture time over here, 9 to 11. Okay, now you save, save and display. Save and return to the course. Save and return to the course. Okay. Can save and display. Actually, this, there is something known as tagging, but I don't think it should do it. Tagging is basically hashtagging the lecture, so it's visible on Twitter and other feed. But I don't think we want to share it globally right with everyone else because that's our private lecture so don't tag it but some people they will tag their lecture to Facebook and other platform so you save save it to the course so that means if you tag it here and your Facebook is live then you will <laughs> it will pick up the feed from big blue button put to Facebook wait for that yes so it will display. Zul, you can go to the big blue button and we just set up. Okay, so when this is displaying, I will show you. For example, this is your class, right? What this one is doing is transferring this link into the system. So now you start your class, okay? Zul is going to start his class. He's the lecturer. So your camera is there, right? Other camera. Okay. Huh? Chrome. Put click Chrome. Chrome, the other. Cannot. Uh, administrator lock the password. Can we use the, can we use the run, admin, oh it's asking, click your, your personal, your admin right, no, no admin, you have admin password right, you just try, problem with, the, you can use your apple, can connect apple, oh okay, okay, okay. So how do we connect it? Yeah, we, we will connect you the big blue button for you because I want you all to see how it works. We will set up the big blue. We wait for this to set up. So not what. Not right. We wait for this to. I need to set up. <laughs> oh, God. Lucky. Yeah, yeah. Please, please. We want to, you to see how it works. Ah, thank you. Thank you. We want you all to see. Come. Please have your coffee. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to. Your coffee, tea. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes, but can connect? Yeah, you synchronize? Yeah. Don't drop on your tea and your tea on your computer again. <laughs> Connect it? Okay. Can. It's okay, it's okay. Just just play with it. Yeah, yeah. Just 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 because of the connector. It's okay, it's okay. We we adjust, no problem. No problem. Just go to just open your big blue. Okay, okay. Okay. Big blue is all open.
You download. You have to log out from the other one. Zul, in your file you have the computer. You have your is uh, PDF file, right? Okay, okay. You just show them. Wait for them to wait for everyone, and then we start. Yes, Prof. Yeah, have 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 already. I drink uh, uh, water. What I have, what I. You had Prof. You want me to get for you coffee? You had. Oh. Okay. It doesn't. It it asks for something, right? Well, whenever you do. If you start here, yeah. You don't with the one we. Start yeah, 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 yeah. So we just start here. Yeah, we just start here. Okay. Connect. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. My only concern was connectivity. If it doesn't connect uh, and patch, uh, the what do you call that? Plugin does not function. Hi, hi, it's okay. I had already. Sit down. I drink some. Let's start. Prof, we will just solve the problem later. Once, once he finish, we will solve the problem. Once, because we give time. I think that is because if Dr. Teru was there, we'll have to actually access his system and give. We can actually access everyone's system, but we need Dr. Teru's permission to to we don't want to violate the privacy of. Everyone. Okay, so this is how the big blue button actually works. Okay, so later on, I just give you all time. Just sit. Which one? Big blue button is free. That's why all the IPT, IPTA, uh, they use this big blue button because it's accessible. So if you want to give a lecture in other IPT, if you tell them I'm delivering my lecture in big blue button, they know. They know it's they, it's cross-platform. It's across the board, free. We don't want to use any paid software because when we have the budget, right, we can pay. Suppose next year there's no budget, then we are constrained by So we don't use uh, software. I will explain to you all later about the lecture thing, why the lecture. Okay, now Zul has put in the big blue button here, and he's the instructor. So he turn he turns editing off. He turn editing off. Uh, it's off, right? Off, right? So he's going to access big blue button here from here. Okay, where's the ah uh, here? Click. Okay. Okay. Join session. Okay, now you don't join the session until Zul join the session because uh, Zul will be the instructor and he will. When you are the lecturer, you do the reverse. You do what Zul did. Okay, so Zul is going to talk. He will access the microphone. So make sure your computer has a microphone. If you don't show your face on camera, don't show your face. Actually, there are issue regarding this. We don't have a very clear guideline regarding using face because uh, overseas, right? The face is used for recognition of for banks. Okay, for banking or even to open your, unlock your phone, you need your face. So, I don't know whether you should be using your face. If possible, you use it, but reduce the resolution. You reduce your camera resolution, so the face is not really clear. But uh, this is the thing which you need to take care of regarding your, I mean your personal. Oh, <laughs> then there'll be more problem. <laughs> then, <laughs> if I use mask, then. I don't know. Maybe you can. Okay. So, so now see, uh, Zul has started the class. Who has joined here? Vaidatul has joined. Doctor Vaidatul. You joined. Who is? Who joined? Okay. You joined. You joined. Okay. 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 Now comes the, the now come the lecture note, right? So you click join the session. Okay. Okay. So now, now comes the lecture note. You want to know how to upload lecture note, right? There, okay. Look at the big blue button, right? Bottom there's a plus sign. So Zul will click plus. 
and then you upload a presentation. Upload, so you upload. You can just drag and drop. So Zool will upload the page. You you upload the the Biasa thing, the non, the simple one. Any ex, uh, PDF? Ah, okay. So I'll upload my lecture. Now, okay. Now, when you upload lecture here, right? Make sure uh, there are two things which you should be aware of. You use, please use PDF file because if you use PowerPoint, it will not synchronize with this system. If you have animation, if you have animation, it will not synchronize with the system. Okay, with Big Blue. So PowerPoint is the ideal mode. Okay. Okay, now the lecture is ready. These are all the students. Okay, okay. So Zul will start his lecture. Just click, click. So just click. Okay, the lecture come on as it is. So Zul is giving the lecture. He's recording. He's it's going on and on and on. Okay. Now suppose Zul wants to annotate the lecture. He clicks here. Tools, select pen, and then click and then annotate. So now you can annotate the lecture directly. So you can mark the slide, you can do anything you want in the slide as a lecturer, okay? Now suppose you want to assess the student's uh, interaction with the class. I suddenly stop and say, okay, uh, uh, there's a question on something. I need you to answer. So then I will give, for example, I give, uh, who is in charge? Okay, give Dr. Audrey the command. Disable, disable them, okay? And make presenter. Okay, Dr. Audrey. Okay, I'll make you presenter, okay? Make presenter. So now you are the presenter. You try. You now you can move the slide in your system. Try, try. Just move in the system. What I want to do? You move the slide, or you, you just use your mouse. Move the slide. There. You have control of the system. Okay. Now we cannot see the annotate button. You can see the annotate button. There you see in the corner, the annotate button. The hand, the hand yeah. button. I click on the hand, hand button here. Oh yeah. Uh, you click on the hand. Then you can select the pen, pen, the pen button. Just click on the pen. And now you ma you can write on the slide yourself. You can mark on the slide. You can mark, just click and mark, just mark. You just use the right click mark. Now you can mark the slide directly on the system. Okay, now this is very useful in class when you're teaching a student a concept and you want them, for example, you show them a GIS map or you show them a diagram and you want certain to assess students for understanding the topic, you can tell, you can give them control even though you're, they are not in your class. They may be somewhere else and then they can actually start moving across the slide. Oh, suppose the, some of our peers, they, what they do, they will use it for group presentation. So six students, each student prepare one slide, you are the moderator, lecturer, you sit in your room, they can sit in their kampung or in their house, they just move around, you tell them, okay, slide one, uh, student one, explain, slide two, student two, slide three, and so on and so forth. Because mostly they are working, because based on our statistic, right, most of them access Smart 2 from Asrama in the night. So that's the server statistic show. So it means, sorry. Online, the yeah. Students, can you see all these? Yeah, as it on is. The or only the slide? They will see the slide and Zul, if Zul turn on the camera, you will see. Yeah, the, yeah, the lecturer. Page. The lecturer will be here. Click. Can see what? The list. The, the, yeah, the because they can also talk to each other oh. in class. They can chat with each other. You can send a message, but. <laughs> hi, all. See, so he says hi, all. You just click. You will see yourself there. It's for you to interact. But but we turn off the mute. We mute the voice so it doesn't disturb the class. Is there any rules? Let's say, for example, I have ten lectures. I use this system for all the lectures. If your student want it that way, it's because face to face. No need for them to come to. No need, no need, no. But you make sure that you ask your student first because some student want to see the lecturer face. <laughs> Some students are like that because even for me, older generation, we want to see the lecturer face. I will feel very my out, but the new student, they will feel. This one, rather than we go to FSSA, I can use. Yep, you can do. You, you can do. But make sure that all of them agree to it and that they can see in the system. But uh, preferably, Dr. Abentin. Uh, Dr. Abentin, preferably they are in UMS because the system in UMS it will be outside. They can access, but we have to see the speed because they are using some TM net. Or some other system we don't know, uh, free, it may be low. But in UMS, their Wi Fi can. But you can use, it's perfectly justified. Because I'll show you. No, 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 no. Actually, I will show you something. Okay? Now, suppose someone asks you whether you actually give the lecture, they'll say, oh, Dr. Abentin is in his room, he never went out to give the lecture. Okay? Your course file. Okay, you want? You click start recording. 
start recording. There's the bhukti, other bhukti. In the system, there's a recording. So the system will record. So you download, put in your course file, your pen drive, whatever, you have the evidence. So there's no question of, it's all black and white. Your integrity is, I mean, your integrity is intact. Yes, Dr. Mabel. Yeah. Uh, for n no, it's yeah. based on the Kulia. So this is the concept of a hardwired classroom. So it's basically shifting the classroom online. So you cannot share more than one file. Usually we can only share the presenter note. Okay. So now we have, I think, Doctor. Yeah. So. So usually you can give uh, Maran control. Give him control zone. Give him Maran control. Give him control on the audio. Audio control. Make presenter. Yeah. Now, now you will be the presenter. Now you have control on your phone. Yeah. Including the voice. If you join as a, you can move around. So you can move your lecture. Now. So if you have hundred students, you will see. But it, they will become like a dot. So. But not encouraged to share video because the bandwidth will basically go down and it will become a dis distraction for the other student, they are somebody coming in. So we don't do that because of the bandwidth and distraction. Your lecture will become a, how do you say, like a, a football match, everyone. Okay, so that's what. So now it's, so now Zul is back. So I asked Dr. Maran to explain, I asked Dr. Audrey then take over. Okay, you can do almost everything inside. Okay, so this is your lecture. So you give your one hour lecture, you do your staff tutorial, and at the end, never f always forget this. Don't forget this one. Here. End presentation zone. Okay, see ya. See this one. Huh? This is very important when you finish your lecture. Always click end meeting. Otherwise, what's going to happen? They can listen to whatever. Suppose you are talking some private, it will continue the class. So please end meeting. You have to remember that. That's very, very important. As it will become like Donald Trump talking something at the back and record it. It's, so make sure it's end meeting and finish. Okay, so that's uh, done. So now the classroom has recorded everything. So end meeting. Yes. So this one is recorded and kept. Uh, okay, the system. But better to download into your computer as the book evidence of your class. So it's better to. Then you can put it on a pen drive. It's a short video and plug it into your course file. Keep it in your course file. So. Okay, so that's about the big blue button. So big blue button allows you to do uh, live video, which is considered as face-to-face. -face. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, what's the time? Now? I just because we have to see there are problems also. Three forty-two. Okay, so let's look at analytics again. So you can pull down analytics. Okay, you can go down. You get the analytics again. So now we see our reports, analytics graph. Okay, now you'll see it changing. Number of active students. Okay, now we'll see see how the analytics will change. Okay, so now the analytics actually change. So you can see who are the active because you are actually interacting with the system, so it captured the analytics. So what they did. So updated course, viewed course, everything is in the system. Okay, so so you can see the whole. <laughs> so you can see, for example, that, that's why some of because they have the. You know, you all have heard of the alternative assessment. They have a, the, they ask us for you are like aware of concept of alternative assessment. So, Puan Salmi can tell about alternative assessment a little bit. The alternative assessment because we can use the activity file for alternative assessment, right? For, for example, we are using normally we have your assessment using your assignment, uh, course, uh, the final exam, midterm, and everything else. But if you want to use five percent for course activity, you can use for alternative, right? As a card. Depends on the CLO. Yeah, depending on your CLO. Like the assess yeah. so But your in <laughs> So if you are measuring social interaction can. So the feedback. So you can do it using this. Not recommended because of the time. Not recommended to do exam with this. Test can. Test it. Not recommended because of the issues. I have tried midterm. I have tried midterm with this, but it doesn't work with the student copy and paste. How many times can we do online? Uh, basically, you just follow the. Now we are allowed to give up to four, right? Four, four, four lectures. Four lecture. The last last notification. Four lectures, basically. Four lectures. But the face-to-face -face you can do, doctor, online. 
face to face can be done using the system. It will be a class online, full class. Okay, so go back to the analytics. Okay, you can also see the. Go, go. So you can also see in analytics, other analytics, for example, go to the reports, analytics, and then you go to the analytics, uh, analytics graph, and then you can see the uh, hits distribution. Click here, you, get, you should get the heat map. Okay, so it tells you the hits distribution, what they are actually, how many days they are accessing the course and all the hits distribution. Hits distribution giving you the overview of the students' interaction with the system for each individual student. Okay. Okay, so go back, Zul. I think we go, go to the next one. No access. 